Hello and welcome to the new episode of the Cisco Packet Tracer and Network Tutorial for Beginners. CIOS is here and today I want to talk about the VTP or VLAN Trunking Protocol. The purpose of the VTP is very simple. So just imagine we got a network like this with the one core switch and distribution switch and access layer switches. In real company, you may have 50 or 100 switches in production. So you just imagine we want to create this VLAN list, VLAN 10 to VLAN 60 on all switches and you just imagine how it can be time consuming. Besides that, there is a, so many risks for typo and human error. Let's say you want to create the VLAN on all these switches, it really takes your time as a network administrator. If your company pay you early, so it's good idea. You create the VLAN by by one on each switches. But there is a better solution for that with Cisco technology. VTP. Okay. The purpose of VTP as I said is very simple. Every time you change the VLAN in the VTV server or create a VLAN on the VTV server, it sends the summary advertisement and updates all the other switches in the same VTP domain. So you must have your switches which one you update with the VTV server in the same domain. And beside that, you just don't forget you need a trunk between switches to VTP is transferred between the switches. So let's do it in an action. I start with this core switch and okay, enable it to learn how to do it. Go to the configuration mode. And before go that, let me show you the one of the very important commands in a VTP mode, which is show VTP status. With VTP status, you can get the information about your current VTP, the version of the VTP, the configuration revision. I talk about this and how many VLAN support locally by this switch and how many existing VLAN on this switch. VTP operation mode, which is server, VTP domain name and all other information like the proning mode and V2 mode and etc. etc. Okay. And let's check the VLAN. On this switch, okay, we got only five default VLANs, and let's do some configuration. I want firstly talk about the VTP mode. We have three different VTP mode, which are the server, client, and transparent mode. In VTP server mode, you can create and advertising the VTP information and VLAN information in the entire network. In VTP client, you can receive the updates, but you cannot create any VLAN in the VT in a switch which is set on a VTP mode client. And the transparent mode is a mode is that the switch can advertise and broadcast the VTP advertisement summary, but it doesn't accept any changes from the VTP advertisement. Okay, we start with the first switch in our core layer. Go to the configuration mode and first of all we set the VTP and question mark you can see we can set the domain mode and password which is important for security. VTP switches in the same domain and the same password can only communicate to each other. VTP mode and you can see we got the client server and transparent. I set this switch as a server mode. Okay, VTP mode server. And before I set any VTP domain, I want to firstly check on this distribution switch the status. Enable, show VTP status. Okay, same, no revision number. Configuration revision is the parameter that the when you create and apply any changes on the VLAN, this VTP configuration revision is count down and became one at one number to that. We don't have any VLAN or changes so our revision number is zero. Just remember in the VTP mode when you have a higher revision number that revision number is applied to entire domain of the VTP. 
and you will see this configuration very soon okay the VTV domain is zero uh, let's for make sure check on this switch B okay show VTP status yes so no domain okay we set the domain on our core switches VTP domain and let's put it test okay changing VTP domain name from no to test let's check show with the status yes VTP test is set go and check and don't forget these links between these switches are set as trunk I set them previously use the up arrow key and show VTP status and you can see the VTP domain is automatically broadcast to the other switch in our network this one doesn't have anything yet let's test this and see no nothing is set yet okay let me set the configuration okay VTP mode client okay let's do it for the this switch B come C VTP mode client and just look at this I want to create the VLAN for example 10 in this switch same VTP VLAN configuration not allow when a device in a client mode so in client mode you cannot create any VLAN show VTP status on switch C nothing here configuration D VTP stats, VTP mode, and this is a client. And finally, let me set this switch also as a client. VTP mode, clients, and let me show VTP status. Okay, test client. Let me check that what's going on here show VTP status and you can see our domain name is broadcast to entire switches in our network make sure this one sorry show VTP status on this switch the domain is come here and finally on this switch use up arrow and the test domain is also Defined on the switch A. Okay, let's test the VLAN on the core switch. You remember the command? Yes, show VLAN. Okay, standard VLAN distribution switch, show VLAN. Same result. And let's, for example, switch A as example, show VLAN and no VLAN defined on these switches. Okay. I'm going to create the VLAN based on the VLAN list on the core switch. Okay, so I move it here in core switch, configuration mode, VLAN 10, name IT, VLAN 20, name sales, and you just imagine, I just do it for one switch and it take time and you just imagine I want to create on a hundred or fifty you see the typo even can happen I follow the old method of the VLAN database name is RND UK VLAN 40 name marketing as I usually follow whatever I define name it in the capital UK name VLAN 50 is finance, okay, and uh, finally VLAN 60 name production. Okay, so you just here we got six VLAN only in a real production network. You might have a 20, 50, or whatever VLANs, and it's very, very time consuming to define all VLANs in all switches. Okay, show VLAN, and we can see all our VLANs are defined here. So let's check is a VTP working or not. Okay. And show VLAN in the distribution switch and voila! All our VLANs are distributed in our network. 
switch P, check show VLAN. All VLAN 10 to 60 are defined here. VLAN C, show VLAN. And yes, as you can see, the all the VLAN are defined in our network, show VLAN. So, this is how the VTP really works. In next uh, part of this session, I show you what are the danger of the VTP and how if you are not be careful how the VTP can be used against you and against your job. But before that, I want to show you something, show VTP status and as you can see, the revision number which was zero now by creating the VLAN on the VTP domain is increased to 12. Okay, see you in next part very soon.